did a Boston police officer die during a blizzard in 2022? Court filings this week show that defense attorneys are raising questions about what investigators say they found. That victim, John O'Keefe, was found in a snowbank. Prosecutors say his girlfriend ran him over and left him there. As WBC's Christina Hager tells us, both sides are set to go to court next week to go over some new evidence the defense says it's uncovered. There's always an intrigue around um, a young person dying, um, but particularly when that young person is a police officer to die under the circumstances that he did. New intrigue and even conspiracy theories surfacing around the case against Karen Reed. Her attorneys now poking holes in accusations she hit her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, with her vehicle and killed him. His body discovered in a pile of snow outside the Canton home of a fellow officer who hosted a gathering there in January of 2022. More than a year later, defense attorneys say prosecutors are holding back their evidence, including DNA, a broken taillight from her car, security video, and the vehicle's so-called black box. Waiting over a year to get um, critical pieces of evidence in this case is, is does seem unusual. Not only unusual, says former prosecutor Jennifer Roman, but it could cause the judge to throw the evidence out. If that happens and they lose these key pieces of evidence and they can't rely on them at trial, their case has been significantly compromised. Defense filings raise other evidence. A Google search by someone at the Canton gathering that night that looks like how long to die in cold. The defense says that search was three hours before O'Keefe's body was reported discovered and the search history deleted the next day. Defense filings show another twist. Quote, numerous defense wounds consistent with a brutal fight, a cluster of deep scratches and puncture wounds to his right arm and forearm. At this point, the Norfolk DA's office is only saying its attorneys look forward to being able to respond appropriately in court next week. Christina Hager, WBC News.